Hey you all, guess what? I'm at Culver's. Yes, I took Daisy to the dog park because she had hurt her leg a while back so I couldn't take her. So I think we are going to get, I'm not really sure. I've got so many good recommendations from Debbie and Deborah and Brayden and Jason. I just don't know. I think I know what I want. Hello. Hi, dear. Please give me one moment. Oh, take your time. Ooh. What else? What can I get for you today? Okay, I'm going to try that North Atlantic Cod Filet Sandwich. That's a great sandwich. Oh, that comes, good. That comes with tartar, lettuce, and shredded cheese. Nice. Would you like that in a basket? Um, what's in the basket? It comes with a fry or, and a drink. Uh, no. Can I get the coleslaw instead of the fries? Yes, ma'am, you can. And a root beer? Yes, ma'am, you can have a root beer as well. Anything else for you today? I think that's it. And I think that brings your total to $10.05. Groovy, groovy, thank you so much. My pleasure, dear. She's nice. Well, I was in conflict of what to get. I wanted to try the onion rings, but I mean, was it, I think it was Braden said about the, Braden, you told me about the onion rings, but Debbie, you also, he had told me earlier about the coleslaw, so I'll come back for the onion rings sometime. I wanted to get both, but I'm like, Barbara, I'm living large now. Yay. This is fun. I'm, I'm a little low energy. Daisy's worn out. Um, there's a really nice dog park in uh, in Henderson County. It's uh, um, it's Mills River and dog park, and it's really nice. And, and they had it fenced off during the winter time, so it's kind of like, wah, wah. but it's still nice. But um, the fence was gone, so Daisy had a grand old time, and she had hurt her back leg. We didn't know what it was. The the vet wasn't sure, but it said it was all right. But she was just limping and stuff. Well, I don't think we took the vet in regards to the leg, but it's been healed. So I thought, let's go. And there weren't a lot of dogs, so she did well. Hi. Hello, Colonel Claude. How are you doing today? Good. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, ma'am. That's good. I heard your root beer is supposed to be really good. It's, the root beer is actually really, really good. The yeah. only bad part about it is it's really, really extremely foamy. Oh, I like foamy root beer. But that's about it. Oh, that's the best. Well, it's not It's not the foam that's the thing it, with, for the other people and stuff because it has a really good taste. It's just over here and stuff, trying to pour it. Oh, it's trying like, to pour it and all you got is foam. Yeah, it's kind of like a... Like pour it all out and try yeah. to get them the right amount. And then put it right here. Yeah, right. yeah. And you can actually just pull straight ahead and we'll have it out shortly for you. Thank you so much. You're nice. I didn't know if I had my card back, but of course I got it back. So the thing is, they do this thing where they put a little ticket on, the, on, on your rear view mirror and it's kind of cool because then it keeps the line going but then you just kind of wait and you know you know they're cooking up your meal so that's nice so Debbie told me to get the coleslaw and the cod so I did I, I missed the walleye fish sandwich and I'm sorry this is kind of like 45 minutes from our house maybe an hour even I'm not sure so it's kind of out of the way but it was near the dog park that I wanted to take Daisy to so I thought this is a good day to get it so anyway ooh, so I got the cod um, filet sandwich and then I got the um, coleslaw and I got the root beer because I was told the root beer is supposed to be really good so here it is Culver's welcome to delicious and uh, oh this is good root beer now I'm not a soda drinker big time but if I'm gonna have a soda it's either gonna be a cream soda or a root beer and um oh this reminds me i don't know if a and w was in the south but a and w root beer growing up in the 60s oh you would have this driving kind of like sonic is now but more so and they'd put a bit and big tray on your window and the and the a and w root beer came in these glass mugs real thick mugs like you know thick glass and it was foamy and I, Oh, it was so good and come on your tray and then we I usually got a hot dog. I was young then and uh, 
Oh my goodness, that A and W root beer. And then the stand started going down. Colin, I would A and W, if you're still alive, I wish you'd open up your stands again. That was the best. But I tell you, Culver's. Now Debbie told me that Culver's makes their own um, own uh, root beer. I should have asked him. I meant to, but I, I trust her, <laughs> Debbie. I trust you. This is the closest to A and W root beer. It's really good. Ooh, 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 ooh. This will be fun. Because I wasn't sure what I was going to get. So this is going to be just a little divine fun. Because I was like, well, I don't know. Maybe I'll just get a Sunday. <laughs> but I hadn't had a good meal. And I thought, I better have a good meal today. Well, this is pretty delicious and fun. So anyway, so that's the deal. So yeah, how are you all doing? Oh, goodness. I, I'm, uh, I'm a little... Uh, empty-headed today. You have those days where you're just kind of like, ah. the thing is, is that um, I was trying to give Daisy a really good day and we went and I had to do some returns and then um, at some um, stores so Daisy got to go and then then I gave her a little walk and by the grass and stuff and um, and then my little gal, um, we went to the dog park and she loved it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna sit here. She's She's back there. I don't know if you can see her. Can you see her? Oh, you can see her. Dee, 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 dee. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So what am I getting? The coleslaw. I'm not a big coleslaw eater, but I. But if, if it's a good coleslaw, I love it. I don't like a vinegary coleslaw, so I, I don't know what one this kind is. And, um, oh, I love me onion rings. I'm, now I'm wishing I got those, too. Oh, I love me onion rings. Well, I, I used to love onion rings. I used to love onion soup, French onion soup. And then, well, my body didn't like it. So I stopped and didn't have onions on anything. And now as I've gotten older, my body's saying okay to cooked onions. So I'm kind of going, yeehaw. So um, someday I'd like to go on a hunt for really good French onion soup. Or I might make a series of vlogs or something. I want to do, you know, I want to do a couple of those, you know, in the hunt for, like a, in the hunt for some different things. But anyway, dee -dee 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 -dee. I'm very happy and I hope you guys are too. And I hope, you know, it's, you know, the, I don't know about you guys, but the, the trees are all turning lime green and they're just, oh, they're just bursting out. It's so fun to watch. And, you know, I don't know, but, you know, when I was working, you know, you're just not outside as much except for on the weekends and sometimes I'd have to have a day just to like be a vegetable because I'd work so much and then I'd have my Sunday. But but now I just, you know, since I have more time, it's just nice to kind of really watch the season come and come into being and stuff. So um, I've been wa reading this good book. Um, it's called Becoming Odessa. Look at that book. And I like it. It's about this uh, gal who did the Appalachian Trail you guys know what the Appalachian Trail is? It is a trail that starts down in Springer Mountain, Georgia and goes all the way up to Maine. And I don't want to tell you, but I want to tell you, but I don't think I'll ever do it. My feet are so bad and my hips and my back are so bad, but it's a secret. But it's a secret of mine and it's, and I don't want to tell people because I don't want them to encourage me and, and me feel like I can't do it or I won't do it. But I just wonder if in my lifetime I'll do it. And if I don't, it's okay. I'll just enjoy reading about different people doing the Appalachian Trail. But um, I just think it'd be so cool to walk that Appalachian Trail. I just think it'd be so cool. And there's a book about uh, Gatewood or something. She walked the Appalachian Trail. And she was in her, I don't know, she's, I think she was 67. But then she walked in even later when she was older. Um, and uh, this woman who I worked with, she... She was leaving and she got me a, a long map of the Appalachian Trail. Oh my gosh, it's long. It's like, how many miles is it? I don't know if they tell you. Is it 1,200? I think it's 1,200 miles. Well, you know, I don't know why I didn't know about it. And maybe I did, but it doesn't register. Why I didn't know about it when I was younger, like when I was in shape. Of course, you know, even when you're in shape and you're younger, you think you're not in shape. Oh, Daisy stretching out um and so I just kind of go well shoot I wish oh they're they're a little slower today I'll just I'll turn off this engine um 
and uh, what was I saying? Appalachian Trail. Oh yeah, when I was in my um, 30s, I uh, I worked with adjudicated youth. I think I've mentioned that before in a vlog, and and we would be outdoors, and um, it wasn't mean or anything like that. We were really good to the kids, but um, it was like we did hiking, backpacking like three days out of the week, and then we'd do a special activity like horseback riding, white water canoeing, rock climbing, something else. Oh, white water canoeing, rock climbing, I can't think. Anyway, and then, then we'd have like two or three days where they went to base camp, and just to, you know, we'd wash all their clothes and all that stuff, and the sleeping bags and all that. Um, but anyway, um, so, so, you know, like when I finished it, that, which I probably wouldn't have done it then because I really wanted to become a, um, a more intensive social worker. Hang on. I got to go forward now, people. I got to behave. <laughs> I'm kind of mellow today. Can you tell? I tell you, when I go to crumble, I get so excited. It's hard to be mellow. Now, if I was getting their hot fudge Sunday here, I would be really hyped up. But I kind of feel like I should have some food food. So, um, oh, I love the spring. I love it when it's nice like this. It's just so sweet. Now, I think it's, it's coming up pretty soon that I might have to do jury duty. Let's cross our fingers. I don't mind serving. I don't mind doing it. But shucks, um, it does take, you know, every time I, I end up on one of those juries, it takes a while, you know. I think one was two weeks. The last one I did was two weeks. It was a civil case. And then the one before that was a criminal case, and it was for a week. And uh, that's tough because, you know, you get all people from all walks of life, all different ages, and everyone comes from different perspectives. And it's interesting that you can all hear the same stuff and have such different views. But that's how it is in life. So just trying to hear people out and understand. The sun's in my eyes right now or something, some kind of glare. Oh, gosh. I wish you could see this. Maybe I can show it to you. There's a mugo pine. You know what a mugo pine is? Let me show you. Hang on. Let me, let me get this. Ooh. Let me see if you can see it now. Oh, I don't know if I can show it to you. Do you see that right there? I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of a shrubby kind of thing. I don't know if it took, if it didn't. Sorry. <laughs> um, but it... Um, Oh, Mugo Pines are like my favorite. They really are. They're one of my favorite at favorite evergreens. They they take a while to get big. Yes. Can you just pull a little bit up to oh, sure. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I went to the end. Okay, no worries. Here you go. I didn't do it way. Well, they had a line, so I stopped at the line. But they have a sign here, so maybe they wanted me to go up to the sign, I suppose. Please do not cross here so I don't go any further. And there's a little thing painted on the road. Now, you know, I never remember people painting on the road telling people which way to go. Here, Daisy. Here, honey. Let me give you some more air. You can have air. Sometimes she jumps down as she gets warm. There you go. Are you back up? I don't know where she went. Oh, Daisy Bear, you're okay. <laughs> Let me give her some more water. You want some water, boo-boo? Say <laughs> hi. I wasn't planning to vlog until I got my food because it took so long last time. I thought, oh, I'll just do that. Oh, she's drinking away down here. She's down below. You getting? He drinking, drinking, drinking. She must have gotten hot, but it wasn't that hot out. It's, it's supposed to be in the 70s today, and maybe it is now in the sun. But it's so windy that it feels cooler. Yeah. So what was I talking about? You got it all? She drank it all. Um, so... Here you are. Cod filet. Cod filet. There you go. You have a good day. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Culver's. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Let's go find a place to eat. Whoop, that lady's going. Go ahead. She is flying. She must be late. She must be on her lunch break or something. That's what I think. She's probably on her lunch break. Okay, now. One time. Ooh, they have a new salad coming out now. Whee! Now, I remember one time I parked down here and a woodpecker was there. So we might try to see if there's another woodpecker. 
Now, I can't figure out where the sun is, people. Oh, I just burped. I, I rarely drink carbonated drinks anymore. I just drink water, 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 water. So, this is like just a little celebration, I suppose. Oh, you guys, my foot is still, my toes are still messed up. It's going to take a little longer than I thought. And I thought, oh, they'll be done. Should I go this way? Now, I think. Last time I thought I was in the right way and then I wasn't. Here, backing her up. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, those wildflowers down there are so pretty. They're all yellow. Way down there, you'd never guess it. Oh, let's just park right here. Oh, I can hear the birdies. I think this is good. Nice cross breeze here. And Daisy's jumping up. <laughs> Daisy's like, okay, there's something to see now. Okay. Yay, I hope you, this is a good place. I can feel the breeze blowing through my hair. I love me some wind. Who's speaking down to capture a gold wind? Everyone says it's windy. Boop. And windy has stormy eyes. Okay, y'all, let's just check this out. Culver's, welcome to delicious. Okay, now I love their hamburgers, you all. I'm gonna have to come back and get another hamburger. Here's the, oh, you can't see. There's, it's a pretty good size. Pretty good size coleslaw. Got me a little fork. Ooh, it's a blue fork. Ah, that's kind of snazzy. To keep that. Okay. Uh, let me back her up. Okay, let's see what we got here, people. Oh, this looks good. Oh, they have a little cheese on it, too. I didn't hear her say cheese. Cheddar cheese on it. Well, let me show it to y'all. Hope you can see it. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, whoa. Okay. Let's take a bite, right? Ooh, I want some with that. <laughs> Coleslaw. Mmm. Mmm. Excuse me. Where is that? Mmm. Yum. I'm going to scooch up. I don't know what my problem is. I just always feel like I want to get closer to talk to you. And that's not really necessary, I suppose. <laughs> I love this root beer. I don't know if you can make better root beer. I mean, a and W is my always my marker of a 10. I think this is a 10. I mean, Clover's root beer is excellent. If you're a root beer connoisseur, let me know and tell me where you can find the best root beer. But that is some good root beer. Now let's try this, col this coleslaw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good coleslaw. Um, it's kind of like a light. You know when you have a really creamy coleslaw? This is kind of a light, um, a light creamy coleslaw. It's more of a watery, but it's not a vinegary one. And it's good for me. I like it. Debbie's not steering me wrong. <laughs> You all talk in the comments if you want. Okay, here you go. I'm taking another bite because I didn't tell you what I thought. But the coleslaw, I'm not a big coleslaw eater, so it's not really fair for me to even give a number. One to ten for you new people. One is, blah, I'm going to get sick, throw up. Never, never go near it again. Ooh, things are dropping. I got to eat them. Lettuce, cheese on the floor, got to eat it. Waste not, what not, you know the rules. I make like me cheese. I love cheese. Mm. It's a good fish sandwich. Mm. I feel like the bun is a little thick for me because it takes away from the you know, little titch of an aftertaste with the fish. I'm going to give Daisy a little bit of fish. Just the white stuff, not the fried. Here, Daisy Bear. She says, ooh, I like it. 
I like me some fish. It's got a little aftertaste to it, people. Maybe it's the batter that does it. I don't know. I'll have to try the onion ring sometime. Almost makes me want to drive through again and get them onion rings. Ooh, I love me some onion rings. And I'd be honest with you, I love Sonic's onion rings. Well, a little too much bread for me. And a little aftertaste with the fish. I give it a seven. It's good. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I want to give it a seven and a half, but it does have a little aftertaste. I don't know what that is. Let's have a little coleslaw. The coleslaw is nice and light. It's almost like a mixture of a creamy coleslaw and a vinegary coleslaw. It's like a real, real interesting taste. I've never had a coleslaw like that before. That's good. And that's what I have to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, a lot of birds. You hear a lot of birds. Oh, there's a little pond down there. Um, you hear a lot of birds. Like, often there's a hawk around, you know. That's what I think. I'm going to take another bite. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Sometimes with the sandwich, you can just take, you know, bottom half off or something. But it's so gooey and stuff, I don't... With the lettuce and mayonnaise and stuff, I don't know if you can... Okay, this is a 10, though. Culver's root beer. Come get it. It is divine. It's delicious. Welcome to Delicious with Root Beer at Culver's. <laughs> ah, yum, yum, yum. I, when I see coleslaw, I think of, um, I think of summertime at the lake. In Michigan, there are so many lakes. And a lot of people think of Michigan as the Great Lakes, you know. But that's not, I mean, there are so many lakes inside of that mitten <laughs> and, and rivers and stuff. I used to, a uh, one year, one summer, I led some canoeing trips with my co-counselor, co, and then my sister did it with me too. And that was a fun summer. I loved it. I love canoeing. I love canoeing. I'll canoe by myself. Oh, here, there's a place called Cascade. And well, it was a campground. It was closed for years. And then it, they opened it up. And now it's closed again. They're in some kind of, I don't know, contract in court or something about the family or whatever. But it's such a great campground. And you can, well, I don't know if you can. I, well, it's not open yet. But when they reopen it, we were able to camp, you know, tent camp right by the edge of the water put our canoe in early in the morning or in the evening, we go out and I go out in the early in the morning by myself and just paddle quietly. Oh. And one time I saw, honest to goodness, a deer swimming across the water. It was, excuse me, it was the coolest thing. Just swimming across. It was the coolest thing. And then one time I had, there's like, little outlets from the lake and you and um it was dammed out so it was probably a river that turned into a lake but um and you know all these little little like creeks and stuff and I had the canoe by myself and one time this deer jumped over the canoe it I, I rattled I startled it or something it jumped and then I was like oh but I took it some I don't know if you ever done this with plaster paris you take a little plaster paris put it a little plaster paris it's just this powdery stuff put it in a little tub add a little water use a little popsicle stick and so I made um I made tracks with it. It's a fun little activity for kids. And Daisy's like, give me some more of that fish, Barbara. That fish is good. Sorry I didn't get to try the walleye. I'll try it next year. I think they just do it for Lent, I think. I might be wrong. I didn't ask. I should have asked. Oh, this is a good little treat for Daisy. Sometimes if I get a grilled chicken, I'll... See, if I just pull out the, the, the fish out of the fried stuff, it's okay. 
Here, I'm taking off some of the spread. I mean, it's a nice bun. Ooh, ooh, where are we going? Where am I going? Okay, I gotta take that off too. That batter is good, it's nice and light. I don't know what it is though. Hmm, can't figure it. But you all, I know nothing about cooking. Never have, I just don't have a knack for it. People say, oh, you just, you just have a dash of this, have a titch of this. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I remember years ago, I think I was in the middle of another story, but anyway, I was, uh, remember years ago when I was like, I'm gonna make dinner. And I was doing this chicken and the person who was coming was late. So I just, oh, what is that down there? Oh, a big blue jay. <laughs> but there was something else too. That blue jay, I can see, and she's, she, that blue jay is way far away. Okay, I'm all over the place. So what happened? And so the chicken, so they said, oh, I'm gonna be a little late. So then I was like, well, what do I do? The chicken is just perfect. Of course, I didn't think to warm it or whatever. So then I just kept adding things to the chicken. And I added some cheese, then I added some bacon. By the time the person came, oh, it was just like shriveled all up and hard and <laughs> with the bacon and the cheese, it was horrible. It's like so much for me trying to impress somebody. Um, but I was talking about something before then too. Uh, Coleslaw in the summer. Reminds me of summer. Oh, Michigan Lakes. Love canoeing. Oh, I've gone off on so many tangents. So Cascade Lake, we would tent camp. And then one time, was early in the morning. I was by myself canoeing. And right in front of me were these um, two, uh, there was a mama and a papa otter and two little baby otters, maybe three, I can't remember now. I have it written down somewhere in my little uh, fanny pack, my birding fanny pack. But anyway, and, um, and uh, so the babies dove in the water and then they kind of came up near my canoe. So I was like, ah, so I tried, started to follow them. And then we went across the across the um, the lake, and they popped back up and they stood on the edge of the bank and looked at me and I was like, oh hi! And they kept following them. Oh, it was magical all along the lake. Um, I think I had figured it was about forty five minutes. And then at one point they they went down and then they went, but the lake had was opened up so you couldn't. I couldn't figure out which way they went, and I lost them. But oh, so many magical memories there. I remember the first time we canoed it, all of a sudden we heard all this water rush and we're like, oh no, we're gonna go over waterfalls. But the waterfalls were going toward us. But it was just Hooker Falls. It's not a, it wasn't a big waterfall, but um, um, what other things there? Oh, and then the beavers at night. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you paddle out in the evenings and you'd hear this flap really loud, like, Daisy, don't be scared. She doesn't care. She's not even wincing. She's so tired. She's like, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. she's a little tired pumpkin. Anyway, she's like, you could give me some fish, but I don't know if I can eat it. Anyway, and the fish would flap their tails, and apparently that's a warning sign to the other beavers that someone's around. So um, it'd be a little scary sometimes, but I mean, not scary, scary, but just it would surprise you, you know. And early in the morning, sometimes you'd flap that tail. Oh, it's so cool. I love me a beaver. Well, I do love beavers. However, however, hang on, let me take a bite. Mm. Excuse me. Here, Daisy. Let me give you a little more fish. Mmm, yummy. She's like, I've never had this before. She's probably thinking, Barbara, we can go to Culver's whenever you want. <laughs> But I'm really cheap. I mean, 10.05 for the fish sandwich and the coleslaw and the root beer. Well, I usually don't get a drink, so that's a lot of money for me, but but it's all right. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I wish they would say, okay, if you review this, you get 50% off. <laughs> they don't know. They don't know who's coming through and what we're doing. And... It's not like I have a huge following. 
Mm, mm, mm. I'm sorry if you can hear me munching. I know that can be really annoying to people. So, beavers. Oh, as I'm about to tell you. Hang on, let me give Daisy another one. She can barely keep her head open, but boy, she loves some fish. There you go, Boo Boo. She's my little angel girl. She's such a good dog. She's so good. Oh my god. I mean, she is really good. Um, when we first got her, she had quite a time, but she was just scared. So, um, I could go into that story, but let me get back to my beavers. So, um, so I really like beavers. And so we went up to Hungry Mother Campground up in Virginia, camping, and Oh, I think I already told you that story. Okay, I, I told you that story in another vlog. I remember I did. So anyway, um, so there was one time when, you know, in our we're, we live on two creeks and actually right across the street is the third creek. So we're really like, here's our house and there's a creek here, Hall Creek, and then there's another creek that comes down here on our property. And then there's a creek across the street that comes down here. And so when we, we've had flooding like Hurricane Katrina stuff, our house became an island. We got evacuated, but um, it's become an it became an island last fall. Oh, what a mess! And there was water close to our door. It was very spooky. And the fire department came and got us out and all that stuff. They said, "Hold on to our arms and link arms and all that stuff." Anyway, the water went down pretty quick. Um, so, um, I'm distracted because Daisy's back there, and I got food to eat and a little root beer, and I, I don't know when I've last had a soda. Okay, people, I probably lost all of you, probably all gone home and gone, done something else. So, beavers, so, um, well, the creek and our water was, was really still all the time. We're like, what's going on? And then it started rising and rising, but it wasn't like a rainstorm or anything. And so we thought, well, well, let's take a look. And one of the firemen was like, I'm going to take a look at this. Ended up that there was a big beaver dam. Um, I mean, wait a minute, the water's going, which way, wait, wait, wait a minute, which way does the water flow in our creek? Oh, Barbara. Yeah, it was upstream of us. And, um, I think I was upstream, oh, Barbara, yeah, upstream. And there's a big dam, a beaver dam. We're like, oh, no. And so then the beavers are slowly chewing the trees and they started in on our yard. Oh. Um. Mm. <laughs> You can't eat this nicely. Hey, Daisy. What a mess. And it ended up the people that own that property, their house was way far back. They had a lot of land near us. They've got horses and all that stuff. And it ended up in the long end of the story, we found out, as they knew about the beavers, because they had them on their pond and they were excited. They were happy to have beavers. But apparently the law is, at least in North Carolina, is that if a beaver does damage in someone's property, if the beavers have set a home upstream of you, the people upstream are responsible for the damage that's done. I think that's right. It could be downstream. I'm trying to remember which way the water flows on the creek. Oh, goodness. Well, I haven't been outside much. I've got fractured heel and my broken toes now. Um, I'm just trying to see where the water's flowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's upstream. Um, and so I had broken my ankle. <laughs> this was years ago. And I was in crutches. So she came and she put wire around our trees and all that stuff. And they were really wonderful. But they really are good people. And so they, they researched it and they got their beavers relocated. But apparently each generation goes upstream or downstream anyway each generation goes further up or down the river and um so that generation was coming to visit us and we have a small little piece of land tiny and so it was kind of like a big deal because our house you could never build a house at least in our county that close to the water but this house was built when you could and so close to the creek so close so close we have a little cement like little patio it's fenced in not a patio but I think it was a place for a dog I don't know and so but then it drops right down to the creek so well 
It's got a lot of that white kind of cabbage or whatever on the coleslaw. I think I'm kind of done. I bet I can have some more root beer. Mm. A root beer's killer. And I probably, I mean, if you like sodas, just go get the root beer, people. Mm -hmm. And this I just did because I was vlogging. That's not true. I might have done it anyway. Daisy, you want another little piece of fish? I got a little bit more here. Maybe I'll put it in a cooler. I have a cooler for Daisy because I bring her supper with me because we never know when we're going to get home. I could save some of that fish for her. Ooh, she didn't like that. Ooh. Hey, y'all. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. And um, just um, feel free to say howdy do anytime. And, and uh, I love it when you guys give me ideas. I have a list of ideas of things to do. And I can only move so fast. <laughs> And, uh, <clears throat> but I, I'm keeping a list so that I make sure that I try to hit everything in time, in due time, my friends, in due time. Well, I know this is, wasn't super exciting, but, um, so I did tell you, right, the beavers, so they took care of the beavers. That was good. And, um, I can't remember all the stories I started. Oh, goodness sakes. Uh, Michigan and all the lakes, lots of nice lakes in Michigan, and um, I don't know what else I was talking about. But I'm just chit-chatting and uh, I just, it's just a nice, sweet, mellow day for me. And um, I hope you guys take good care of yourselves and I'm thinking of you and you guys all have just a good day, a good week. And if you don't, well, remember, excuse me, I burped. <laughs> Ride that wave, my friends. You're gonna get through it, all right? Take good care and I'm thinking of you. Bye-bye now. <laughs>